is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below let's see um so there was definitely a burden that you let go in the past there was a relationship that was be becoming very very toxic it was more of a burden and a stress to you rather than uh, something that was uh, you know that started off as very very emotional and that was something that was giving you a lot of happiness turned out to be a total burden and stress out here you probably waited for this person to come towards you and give you an, uh, you know give you um, a love offer or a commitment that you felt you deserved or you were hoping for I feel this person was very stubborn. I feel they were very, very stuck on the past. All right, very stuck on why you guys broke up and what really went wrong, etc. Here, uh, I think this person definitely sees you as the one who got away, and now they want to come towards you with an emotional cycle. Okay, they want to restart the cycle with you, restart, uh, want an emotional beginning with you. Wow, look what came out. Ten of Cups here, beautiful. Right now, they see you as someone who uh, I think they daydream a lot about you. You know. With the seven of cups here they could see you as you open to other options all right or they could see you as someone you know who's very confused but i'm not very sure about the confusion but i think they see you as someone who has a lot of options or who's kept their options open or you're just they're just daydreaming about you uh deep down for the three of swords in reverse here i feel that this person wants to move forward with you they want a reconciliation they want to I think they're healing. They're ready to heal. And I think with the four of cups here in reverse, I feel this person is now open to love, open to receiving or giving a love offer or a commitment, open to love, open to a new approach to love is what I'm getting here. We'll clarify. Wheel of Fortune is how they want to move forward with you. So they probably feel the timing is right and they're ready to get the ball rolling with you, okay, in a positive direction. King of Pentacles in reverse is in the environment that you don't see coming. So, all right. If you're expecting a commitment, I'm going to be very honest. It's still not happening because this person is still coming off as someone who's non-committal. Um, I wouldn't say non-committal. I'd say that this person out here is someone who's not ready to commit because they're still very, very focused on everything else but a career. Okay. So, very focused on, uh, sorry, but a relationship. So, this person is very career focused, very business focused. Okay. Very materialistic here. Okay, your advice is the two of swords. So stay put, okay? Don't make a move here. Uh, just just stay emotionally balanced, all right? If this person comes in, you could be someone, you know, when this person comes in, right, it just like shakes your world up. You can't ignore them. You can't block them. You're like, oh my God, what do I do? If they message you, if they call you, you just like, you know, get like very shooken when they don't. Stay very, very balanced. You're doing good, okay? Where you are. If you're ignoring this person, great. If you block them, great. If you're strong enough, to you know like even if this person calls you and messages you and you're strong enough to stay balanced awesome all right because anyways with the knight of cups here this person's coming in all right and they're coming in to um give you what you need here i'm glad it's not the page it's a fucking knight i like that okay at least they're not like an apology they're probably jumping to the next step with the knight of cups here this is definitely someone who's ready you know it's like i'm getting this person has thought all this while what they want to do with you more than what they, what they want to do with you i feel you were dealing with someone who was emotionally very unavailable okay i feel now this person here is coming towards you like you know now they want to talk they want to open up they uh want to express themselves all right emotionally they want to be very authentic okay they're finally having the courage to follow their heart okay so this is like a sincere interest you know where they want to um let you know about their genuine romantic feelings for you okay let's see why is the empress in reverse here yeah see you're not giving any um definitely a past person here doesn't have to be an ex but definitely someone from the past or a soulmate connection this is definitely a connection that wasn't growing there was a lack of growth and expansion out here like almost a situation that was getting nowhere because you weren't nurturing and caring for this connection anymore you i think just completely let it go because you were the only one feeding this connection all right and you were fed up so it was growing till the time you put in all the work here the moment you stopped putting the work that's when things came to a halt but with the six of cups here definitely a connection here from someone from the past wanting to come back wanting to apologize wanting a reunion with you clarify the six of cups six of cups 
Knight of Oh my God! Wow, they're coming in. They're coming in with a love offer here. This person definitely is someone here who uh, has made up their mind. Is what I'm getting here. They're coming in very emotional, very very emotionally balanced out here. They, you know, it's like they got the guts now to come and tell you like, hey, you know what? I really love you. I want to marry you. So it's probably gonna be like, I love you. I want to marry you, but don't expect me to get married right away, or don't expect me to, you know, like, like yeah, there is an emotional commitment here. That's what I'm getting here. All right. Ten of Wands, what's that? Why is the Ten of Wands here in the past? Why is the Ten of Wands here in the past? Ace of Wands, okay. So you started, someone started off fresh. All right, started off fresh. I think this is you who probably let go of a burden in the past year and you started off on your own, all right? Or probably you let go of a connection which was a very on and off connection. What's the Ace of Wands? King of Wands in reverse, yeah, because someone wasn't taking action. So I feel you just, you know, got the clarity that you needed and you moved on, okay? Because that's the best way I can see it with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands here. So I feel that you let go of a cycle and you probably, but you know what? I feel it could also be that something started short term after this big breakup. For a short term, you started something off with the same person out here, but this person still came off as non-committal, all right? Which is why it just left you very disappointed. Four of Cups in Reverse. Why is this here in the current situation? What's the Four of Cups in Reverse? Four of Swords in Reverse. Alright, if this is what it is. What's the Four of Swords in Reverse? The Fool in Reverse. Alright, so I feel that this person out here, okay, there's a very heavy energy of the one who got away. You're the one who got away. Someone got away. Someone sees something as a missed opportunity here. It's driving them nuts. Very restless. They want to come out of isolation. If you guys are in no communication, this person wants to come out of isolation and talk to you. They're done with taking a break, okay? And I think it's like the silence is killing them. Because they're so reckless, so impulsive out here, okay? But you seem to be like someone who, you know, this person does not probably want to take a risk here. What's the Ace of Cups here? This is what's on their mind. What's the Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here on this person's mind that Pisces is dealing with? I did see the Magician, but it didn't make it. What's the Ace of Cups here? Okay, one more card. Why is the King of Pentacles in Reverse? See, this person's had a huge realization, okay? They've had a huge realization, you know, uh, that you're the one that they want. They want a new beginning with you, but again, I'm going to keep it very real, no sugar coating. The commitment is still on hold, okay? They love you. They love you. If you want to ask me, they love you. Yes, they do. They want that emotional commitment with you. They want a ten of cups with you. But that, that stability, you know, that, that, that strength that you need, that security that you need in the relationship, it's, you know, still a little on and off. They're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. Because they have the realization that they screwed up. So they're coming back. But again, it's an emotional beginning. Seven of Cups. This is how they view you. What's the Seven of Cups? What's the Seven of Cups? Eight of Wands. So this person probably sees you as someone who's going towards other options. You know, you're just releasing them and just moving forward. This is like just moving forward, you know, in speed, just manifesting. Probably they feel you've moved on, you know. Probably they feel that they they kept you in those open options and you weren't you were done with that and you're moving on. Eight of Wands, please. What's the Eight of Wands? Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, this person sees you as emotionally detaching and walking away. Yeah, that's what I was getting here. Three of Swords in reverse. This is what they feel deep down. What's the Three of Swords in reverse? What's the Three of Swords in reverse? <laughs> yeah, it just wanted to come out, right? This person's in like full-blown manifestation mode, dude. They are. This person is manifesting your back. They want to heal the connection. They've healed. They want to reconcile, okay? They don't want to move on. They want to reconcile. They want you. They love you. They want to make this happen with you. And they will do anything under the sun to make this shit happen. Work out again. Magician, please. What's the magician? Who's the magician here? What's this magician? What are they manifesting? Who's this magician? Wow. Wow. Seriously. You want me to say that? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you this. This is what they feel for you, Pisces. 
oh my god i'm in love three of swords in reverse the magician and the two of cups this person is manifesting a relationship with you an emotional commitment with you okay this person wants to be with you on the same page but things won't balance they're ready to make it happen you've given them a very long break i feel you patiently waited whoever has manifested this right i think it's this person out here hell-bent on making it happen with you okay this person is strong this person was probably all this while doubting themselves if they can make it, make it happen with you they're ready they're ready to make this happen with you okay and they've healed that's the best part out here okay awesome what's the wheel of fortune here that's how they want to move forward with you what's the wheel of fortune it's like you know it's all about the timing is what i'm getting here ah uh, 10 of pentacles in reverse all right so there's still that lack of stability and security there's still that no marriage kind of thing yet people could be a problem tradition could be a problem money could be a problem between you guys okay because that's where your condition does not reach that point of security i feel this person is not ready what's the 10 of pentacles in reverse why is the 10 of pentacles in reverse the king of swords okay so you know what i'm getting here this person sees the situation for what it is all right so they're very clear it's like you know they're facing the situation for what it is you know what i'm getting i feel all of you most of you is what i'm getting here this person will approach you with the king of swords you're very very logic logic oriented very head over heart decision very rational they're not gonna bullshit you they'll tell you that i love you i want to move things forward with you can you wait for me because I'm not ready to commit to you. I'm not ready to marry you. That's what I keep getting over and over and over again. Do let me know in the comments below, right? This person is now, you know, you're like the missing piece of the puzzle, all right? They've been the center of attraction. They've been enjoying being single all this while. They don't want to be committed, but I think that that's changing. With that tower here, the universe, you know, the universe just like smacked them on their head. They had like the splash of cold water and it's like, yeah. All right. Father of Pentacles, King of Pentacles in reverse. This is what you don't see coming. This is what's going on behind the scenes. What's the King of Pentacles in reverse going on behind the scenes? What's the King of Pentacles in reverse going on behind the scenes? Okay, we have to cut. They're not happy without you. And I think that this person is now ready to fight with you. <laughs> Did I say with you? I'm sorry. I mean, they're ready to fight for you. You know what I get? I get that this person here is still coming off as non-committal. But again, the love is there. They want the relationship. It's something that is going to be like, you know, almost like a wish, you know, that didn't come true or almost like, you know, uh, how, you know how they say, right, that um, think what you wish for, something like that, right? Like, be careful about what you wish for. You just might get it. So I think you're getting that wish. They're coming back, but it's not coming back in a way that you want it to. Okay. So there, this is like a condition where it's going to drain you out emotionally. Okay. Emotionally very codependent. And I feel when this person comes back, right, there are a lot of chances you guys are still going to be in conflict out here. So be very careful before you entertain this person. It's going to make you very happy, but then it's going to drain you out too emotionally. All right. Because I feel this person is emotionally very, very attached to you. <clears throat> but they're still non-committal okay so yeah i think there's going to be some kind of chaos that is going to be created arguments conflicts pettiness okay again still bullshit not on the same page but yeah <clears throat> i do feel that this person is going to fight for your attention they're going to fight for this relationship they're not happy without you okay two of swords is your advice what's the two of swords here why is the two of swords is advice here nine of wands in reverse it's asking you to just give up on this connection because it's gonna drain you out it's already drained you out because of your strong willpower because of that willingness and determination to hold on to a relationship maybe you're someone who doesn't let go very easily but it's asking you to let go it's asking you to let go don't be so stubborn you know um just don't um let it go what's the nine of wands here in reverse why is the nine of wands in reverse here in the advice position yeah, because there's still a brand lack of a new start here. Okay, there's still a lack of a new start here between you guys. So it's important that you probably let this opportunity go. Okay, which this person is bringing in. See, either you start off with them, but make it very, very clear about what you want. Because I have a feeling that this, ch this chances are that this is going to start the way it stopped the last time. Okay which is what led you to a breakup. So if you want this person to commit to you, whatever, right? It's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough, but um, you'll probably just have to just, it's going to be a waste of time. All right. It's going to be like a waste of energy if you're trying to save this, save this relationship. Let it go because there's still no commitment from this person's side. There's still a lack of a new stable beginning between you both. 
okay that's why with the five of wands here behind the scenes that's what's going on there's still going to be a lot of conflicts here but yeah maybe this person's ready to fight for it but okay fight for what you need to ask them fight for what i mean you already love them they love you that's already there that's we already know that what we don't know is are you ready to commit are you going to commit you know uh the knight of cups why is the knight of cups here as the outcome wow they're ready ready as in see the nine of this is the nine of pentacles here okay which is someone here who now you know is like you know what i need to be with someone you know and you're the only one that they can think of but this person out here i think was all this while very scared of losing their independence and i think they refuse to fall in love now i think they're ready i think they're ready yeah but uh, you know i'm still getting that thing where they refuse to let go of their independence okay they're very scared so the love is there right but they refuse to get into that commitment mode here you know that's been like a biggest problem for this person out here so that's why they keep coming in. you're the only one that they love i don't think they have other options even if they do it's not as serious as they have it with you but again that wanting to be in a commitment you know how how uh people are right like they don't want to be in a trap they don't want to be caged they don't like to be tied down to okay luckily i don't see the knight of wands here or something like that which is making me very happy that this person is not immature they're coming to you with serious shit you know but it, and there is going to be a logical conversation between you guys but it's just like i'm just going to tell you what the truth is so there may be a little tiff again like okay so you came back after so so much you know after so many months and are you still going to do the same bullshit nine of pentacles in reverse why is this here why is the nine of pentacles in reverse why is the nine of pentacles in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse I'm not going to take so many cards but I do have the 10 of cups the nine of pentacles and the sun in reverse okay so i feel that you still um, wow this is so good this person's coming towards you it's just they're just very slow to commit okay i'm not gonna lie they're just very slow to commit here and i feel what what happens here with this person is that this person has a very very hard time you know um how do i say this you know they don't picture uh, they don't paint the real picture in front of you is what i'm getting here okay and i think what's happening here is you or this person here okay someone out here is stopping the natural flow of the connection out here struggling to see the silver lining okay because you know there's a lack of positivity here okay that's what i'm getting here there's a lack of positivity here someone's struggling to be positive about the situation okay and there's like this change going on but someone's just struggling to see the real picture struggling to be very positive could be you could be them here there is a lack of a new beginning here why because with the 10 of cups and the knight of pentacles this person is coming in they're ready to commit to you but the thing is that with the sun in reverse this is what i don't like you either it's you who's still in that pessimistic you know that very non cheerful pessimistic attitude where it's like yeah you're still coming to me but where's the commitment something like that i think that's what is happening because they're still coming off very very slow very slow to commit okay and this probably is something that you won't see it's star all right it's you can't get into their mind and see what they're up to so when they come back towards you probably a conversation will lead to something and they're still going to try and run away from the conversation or they probably be like i'm still not ready to commit which is going to piss you off or something like that just uh if you can keep it very light hearted you know that would help at least to get a realistic picture about where this person's coming from what happens sometimes you know we try to you know um we 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 push the person away because we're like so stubborn about our goals so stubborn about our goals you know that we don't want to see the other person's story okay so yeah they're coming in there there's nothing more that i can say they're coming in with their offer they want a relationship with you and they're not happy without you okay so yeah it's going to be up to you whatever you want to do with this okay entertain it or not it's up to you all right so i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye